Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your entertainment host, Kate Otterbein. Are you looking for a way to beat the winter laziness and get some motivation to work out? Treating yourself to ice skating at Victoria Park with friends is a great way to do so. Winter calls for a time where people love to stay in than step out. But while we prefer lazing out in this chilly season, what we essentially ignore is our body's need to get that dose of exercise. But hey, here's a super fun way to get that blood pumping. We think skating's a good way to come out and just, yeah. Be yeah, because it's, it's kind of boring at home and then you get addicted at home, so you should just go outside and have fun with your friends. Like he said, it gets really addicting at home. So if you come out, you can see how fun it is in nature. Like any workout, ice skating is a great sport for cardiovascular health, with nearly every muscle in the body working. Yeah, I come out here pretty often to the rink just to exercise because, um, yeah, it's like important for me to get like my, uh, just my blood pumping, my juices going, so I, yeah, I can concentrate on other things throughout the day. Not just that, it's also a way for people to meet outside their comfort spaces and much more. We decided um, to come because we want to, you know, go spend, out. We wanted to spend time with each other, like not in school, but like out of school. Like, yeah, it helps with my mood and my like seasonal depression from like the cold in winter. And while some struggle to get the hang of the sport, <laughs> some ace it. But all in all, it sure is physically and mentally stimulating. I think it's a really great way to get kids to go out instead of being on their devices all day. Londoners can enjoy ice skating at Victoria Park every day from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And in case you don't have skates, don't worry, you can rent them out just for $7. So get going already. For FNN, this is Isha Su. An independently owned record store in Wortley Village takes customers on a nostalgia trip through 75 years of music and rare memorabilia. Here's Arvid Pakulaba for more. In London's Wortley Village, you will find the Village Idiot. The record store has been a staple in the neighborhood for more than two decades. Backstory is that uh, this was the dream of my late wife, but uh, a couple of years after the store opened, she passed away, so I've ended up doing it ever since. The store sells vinyl, cassette tapes, CDs, magazines, and other music memorabilia. It's mostly used. It's mostly a nostalgia store, um, but we have a very good reputation for quality. It's taken a long time and a lot of hard work to earn that. Charles Dunn says when dealers from all over the world hunt for vinyl in Canada, they come to the village idiot. There's about 75 years of accumulated music here. Uh, we do Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin as well as Led Zeppelin. Um, there's a little bit of something for every musical taste here. It's got a lot of stuff you can't find other places. And uh, I got some uh, albums from a band called Marmalade, and uh, they're from the 60s. He has the history on the walls. Yeah. Talked about his guitars, but he also has history from London, like the vintage speaker from Wonderland Gardens, where music used to live here in London. It's great. It's a great store. We're in a village, and it's not a village if it doesn't have an idiot. For FNN, I'm Arvin Pakolaba. Intermixing games and learning can enhance a child's learning and interactive skills to a great extent. That is what early on programs at local family centers organize every single week. Literacy, numeracy, self-help skills, and most importantly, having fun. Those are the aims of the Bubble Fun event, an early on program at Westmount Family Center. Is we blend uh, free play with a little bit of instructions mm -hmm. so we pick a different topic every week 
um, in this case, is baking bubbles. So they have to follow instructions, follow a recipe, and have fun. Look at that! Playgroups such as these help kids learn basic social skills and motor skills, which would eventually help them get ready for their school life. Um, and we focus uh, a lot on basic needs. Um, we focus a lot on literacy. Um, so really encouraging families uh, with that literacy piece. We also um, encourage families for that um, healthy, active um, uh, play, so being physically active. Um, and then also obviously um, all of those services that um, need one. that information. And this is a big one. You do what you want to do. Center relies a lot on volunteers to help them run the programs. Visit their website or simply call them if you would like to volunteer for their programs. For FNN, I am Nitika Mishra. That's all for entertainment today, but don't you worry, we will be back with host Isha Sood after a short break. We'll hear about local basketball teams who might not have height on their side, but they sure make up for it with their passion.